Tonus takes us for a lap around Trentino, a short start straight here, but as it turns left, it heads slightly uphill into turn two. The old crest on the exit of the turn has gone, so it's a, a much flatter approach now to the Monster Energy finish line jump. Same here, we don't step up into turn three anymore, it's much flatter, but turn four, the left, is still a little bit off cambered. When we head onto the plateau, we hit turn five, it's a 90 degree left. Over the Ipone jump, a small step up. Then we go left, drop downhill for the first time and into the 180 turn seven right on the center of the infield section. As we head uphill, this used to be a uphill triple, but now it's a double. And this is Cairoli Corner, if you remember from a few years back, a lot of passing could go on through that part of the racetrack. Over the Monster Energy tabletop jump. And then as we step up here, we head over onto the back section, a small single. Then we have this short straight, there's a double at the end here into a 180 left. We had overnight rain for a few days here in Trentino. This bottom straight here still showing the signs of that rainfall, but it hasn't caused any problems as we drop down into this left off camber on the exit. Throttle control, absolutely vital. Over the jump, down the other side, into one of the slowest corners on the track. Again, throttle control, absolutely key as we head up and down this hillside. Back down into this right-hand turn, a little bit wider this one. And as we get on the gas here, we have the first of two short tabletops. The second one just here. If you go to the inside, you can see a single jump, but we have this wall jump. And you can see you can double in if you wish. Head downhill behind pit lane into this left-hand corner. Again, we've seen a lot of action over the years through here, but the final jump on the racetrack takes us back past pit lane through the left-right and over the finish line jump to complete the lap. <laughs> 